Film of Fire, a miracle ministry. Every crying from your house against your progress, every crying from the roof against your marriage and children, all the crying from the wall and the beam of the house, I command them to shut up! Power to fight your problem and to win your enemies. Whether you agree or not, there are enemies. Whether you accept it or you reject it, there are enemies. Whether you feel convinced or you are not convinced, there are enemies. Whether you claim and believe that everybody loves you because you are a very good man, very social. There are still enemies, beloved. If God has enemies, then you have more. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. As I stand here, I have plenty of enemies. As we are sitting down there, you have uncountable enemies. And these enemies are the power that generate the problems of life. Let me tell you something. You will be a fool if as I'm talking, if you think that you don't have enemies. But that's not even the end. You will be a bigger fool if you ever think that as I'm talking, you now fall down and die. Nobody will rejoice. If you die as I'm talking, there will be celebration in some houses. There will be many of your brothers, many of your friends, that if God gives you the opportunity to hear what they will be saying, you will hear from the amount that is long ago they've been expecting your death. Such houses that has been wishing your death shall be scattered this morning. Amen. Your amen is not long. Amen. Your amen is not long. Amen. Enemies are there and they are not there for joke. A lady graduated from school and then she was getting married. The plan is that the husband will take her abroad so that she will school there. Right on the dining table after the marriage, the stepmother walked to her and said, listen, you are not the only daughter of this Obakwe. You first then graduated, first my children graduated from school. Now you've got to marry and you want to travel abroad. I will not take this. Uh -uh. She laughed because they told her in their church that you should love everybody. It's true, but the Bible didn't say you should hate yourself. He said, love your enemy as you first of all love yourself. Father, I'm praying for that girl. That evil bed has been following. The bed will die before I share the grace. <laughs> so this lady traveled abroad. And started school. And was doing well. Sending money home. Ordinarily, they should have been happy. That, oh, we have a sister abroad. Who is sending money? Renovating our father's house for us. But the enemy don't reason that way. There are many of you. It was when you started building in the village that your problem starts. 
when ordinarily they should have been happy. But that is when your problem starts. They say, oh, eh, so you have money now to build. And since then, you've been noticing hotness in your body, movement of pain in your body, some attack, blockage, all those power that gang up, they will die this morning. I wish your amen would have been loud because God is talking to you. So one day this sister went to the market and came back. They called her from Nigeria that look oh, there's fight oh. your stepbrothers, your stepbrothers and your stepsisters, they are fighting us because of you. And she said, Don't worry, people should leave them. Just don't follow them in peace. Uh, yes, just follow them in peace. Don't just 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 hide your face from them. Avoid them. No matter how you avoid the enemy, he will still come. Because his name is called the enemy. They got to a point. The stepmother went to a native doctor and said, I want to kill her. And the native doctor asked for fish. Live fish. Tilapia. They brought the live fish, put poison inside the mouth of this live fish, and put the fish back into the water. Only God know how this fish find himself to America. And a fisherman caught it. It was taken to the market. This sister bought the fish. And right on the dining table, she collapsed and died. That is the end product of the enemies. So God didn't bring you here for dancing. God has not brought you here for parade display. You are here to fight. One assurance is that every bullet that has entered you before you come shall become seven and go back to sender. In the book of Job chapter 14 verse 1 Job chapter 14 verse 1 man that is born of a woman is of few days is not going to live long and is full of trouble full of what? Mm -hmm. even if you park to a yard where nobody live with you the people at the other side will still come to make problem with you so full few days full of trouble verse 2 Verse 2, look at what verse 2 now tell you. He cometh forth like a flower and is cut down. Not that he died on his own. He's cut down. Flower, don't, nobody cut flower down. They die on their own when their time comes. But this one, you rise in a beautiful way. You were doing well. You marry and you are at peace with your husband. When you were not married, you were getting pregnant. What is going on? He cometh forth like a flower, a beautiful rose. That's the picture of your destiny. And he's cut down. He feared. He's even running away. Also, as a shadow. And he continue not. No matter how he run, the enemy still follow him here. Follow him here. Some people run from their village of Botako. They are still fighting them here. It was verse 3. And do thou open thy eyes upon such an one? Oh, you, you are going to watch it just like that? He? Without doing anything? That is why we say operation fight your problem and win the enemy. Ah, do thou open thy eyes upon such an one? The way things are for you. Want to continue? You want to allow that to be like that? Your brother have died. Your mother have died. Your father have died. Your twin brother has died. Your only sister is not married. You want to open your eyes and watch it like that? And bring get me into judgment with such a person? God forbid. God forbid. Those who have been calling your name on any altar, they will answer for your place this morning. So a man born of a woman is a few days full of trouble. He rides beautifully like a flower. Ah, but he's cut down. They cut it down. 
Fiam! Like that lady. I just shared the testimony with you. She was doing well. But they brought her corpse and they buried her. A sister was building a house. Every job she does, money will come. And the brother became offended. The brother. How can you a woman? A woman. A woman that bent down to, to peace. To ease herself. You build the house here. Build the house here. And me, your other brother. I cannot achieve anything. No, this is not fair. Something must be done. Ordinarily, I should have been happy that my brother, my sister is doing something in the father's house. When she marries, she will leave everything for me. But the enemy don't think that way. Let me tell you something. Any power that want to kill your destiny, they will die this morning. Yeah. Open the keyboard. Say this with a loud voice. Fire of the God of Elijah. Your voice is not loud enough. Answer my name for me. So the brother, this wicked brother, went to a big shrine and pledged a cow to the idol. All that he needed from the idol is this. My sister should not make it again. So they requested for padlock. After some incantation on it, they lock it. Let me tell you something. As I hear, you can never tell the kind of things that they have done because of you. You didn't see them. That's why you think that nothing was done. Is he at home? Is he by your father, brother? Is he by your cousins? Is he your stepbrothers? Your stepsisters? They locked the padlock. From that day, the sister began to struggle. 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 Nothing was working for her again. She traveled abroad. She was working in six places. But all of that failed her. Nothing was working for her. One day in the street of London, she fell. She died. They searched her pocket. They discovered she was in Nigeria. And then they carry the corpse back home to bury. The day they were burying her, somebody said, they are with white healers. Somebody is with white healers there. They brought a document of a job for 1.3 billion from the Ministry of Works. And they said they've been calling her line, her line is not going, that's why they traced her address. Just for her to sign, then she will start. And the people say, today we are burying her. That was the day the key, the brother lock was broken. I want to pray that the power that want to disgrace you, the power will be disgraced this morning. I thought your amen will be louder than the way you are saying it. I thought your amen will be louder than the way you are saying it. Why men slept? His enemy came. So I'm not the person magnifying enemy. Jesus is the one talking about enemy now. Are you saying it? His enemy came and saw tars. Tars are like things that are against the maize or the corn. He saw tars among the wheat and he went his way. A lot of people here, their life was diverted. If they were allowed the original way God made them, oh, they would have been very far by now. But the enemy diverted them. Many would have married, have children. But in now, nobody is even asking them out. Many would have been destiny helpers to their community. But they don't even have a job. Many, many would have had children that would have graduated. But no one. Others, their head is failing every day. They must sow good seed, but the enemy sow another pain. Look at it. But why mess left? His enemy came and saw Taz among the wheat, and he went his way. Verse 26. Verse 26. But look at the question. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appear also the Taz. Some people in the time they would have made it, 
That was where something just happened. A sister, after praying for a husband for a long time, somebody proposed to her, and they had to do HIV tests before marriage. She was confirmed positive. Meanwhile, all this one shall be running test. She's not positive. So she, she let their faith talk in church. Come and say you move up. Come and say you step up. Come and say you fly on the eagle wings. She left it. Somebody said, come. Look, this is attack. And you came to dynamic. I just wrote one prayer point for her. Evil plantation. Go back to your sender. Can you raise your hand? Close that your book. You will not shout this prayer. You will clap your hand to pray it. Oh, this is dynamic flame of fire miracle ministry. This is not ill ministry. This is not ill top. This is dynamic fire. Any witch that is monitoring you is looking for trouble. You will shout this prayer. Evil plantation. Open your mouth, don't joke. Uh -huh. You can be free. In Jesus' name, we pray. So that was the prayer I asked her to pray. She prayed the prayer. The day broke. As the day was breaking, she felt like something like sleep dizziness, she noticed she saw a needle going inside her body taking something out that was the end went for a test again it's not negative you may think the story ended she was getting married the uncle, father, brother took a rope and hanged himself while the wedding was going on he dropped a note. My plan for her failed, and I cannot stand the shame. Their plan for you will fail, and they will die. <laughs> so the servant of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, did you not sow good seed in the field? From whence then had it eyes. Ah, uh, but uh, what, what, what are we seeing here? What you saw is not what you are seeing. If I tell you where you would have been by now, you will be surprised. But prayer can see fast track the journey for you. Yeah. Do you see why if you are not coming to dynamic, you should start now. Anybody who is out of dynamic, you are like, you are out of light or darkness. If you are here, your enemies are aware. Then a place you will be worshiping. Mm, they know you're a chicken. Say, so leave that one. Christmas, we finish them. The good not so good sweet. Where is this problem coming from? Who put this problem there? That's what the, the servants of the household that were asking the master. Now look at the answer. Verse 28. Who put this problem there? He said unto them, An enemy had done this. Who did Jesus say that did it? <laughs> so there's nothing we are teaching you that's not in the Bible. Read it. Is it there? An enemy has done this. An enemy has done this. An enemy. Diabetes. Enemy did it. Did Jesus say it was a mistake? You know, sometimes when we say something, say, oh no, superstitious. Superstitious. Everything you say, which which? My brother came. Patrick is here. I brought an 18 seater bus. Before now, if I tell him, there are witches in the village. <laughs> he will look at me. <laughs> is that what Oluko I told you? <laughs> come village. Come and see people. Where build house. Big, big, big house. I say, hmm. those people building those houses, they are part of the modern witchcraft. All those young men driving motor around. They are witches. They are the modern wizards. The modern wizards are this Yahoo plus you're hearing about. They don't have Jesus. How did they make the money without Jesus Christ? Then you will know. He laughed. We wizard. How can you say wizard? You come and see town house they built. I say it's okay. Don't worry. Then I gave him eighteen seater bus. They were balancing him in the village. 
300,000 every month. And he was making money. He stopped his farming. And was thanking me every day. But one day, he parked the motor like this. A driver was inside. Another motor came from nowhere. Boo, 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 passed all the road. Enter. Bah! And the motor turned to two. Started crying. Hey, my motor, my brother, give me. Hey. In a telephone, my motor has boy. I said, What? Motor came from nowhere. I said, That is the witchcraft I told you. It's true. It's true. There is witchcraft. <laughs> what will I do now? I said, Start praying, die by fire. <laughs> Some people will remain confused all their life. They are eating you. You say nothing is eating you. Why they are eating you? Every disappointment, the enemy did it. The miscarriage, the enemy did it. Delay in marriage, it is the enemy that did it. That your first husband that leave you was all manipulation from the enemies. Those who owe you, just to sign and pay your money, is the enemy. The BP you have, the enemy. Sugar, high sugar, the enemy. The hamia, the enemy. Ulcer, enemy. Cancer, enemies. Heart failure, enemy. Well, doctor may have some special name. Some special name. Mocular degeneration. Spadolosis. They may have those names for you. But the truth is this. Look at your Bible. That is the man that deal them. And he said unto them, An enemy had done this. Ah, the servant said unto him, Ah, without them that we go and gather them up, I pray for you that your life is turning from this service. <laughs> if you can stand up and say amen for only five times, that will be your beginning. Yes. Quickly, there are nine problems that the enemy has planted, and we must kill them this morning. Number one is the problem of evil limitation. What is it called? Evil mm -hmm. Some people, eh? The enemy pulled them on what we call satanic bus stop. They don't go more than that level. The car they bought five years ago, the three bedroom flat they built by mistake. That's all they have. No new thing is added. Limitation. The enemy draw the line. This is how far you will go. It's a problem. If you can shout amen for three times with the loud fire, every limitation mark and line they draw for you. Shut Yes! So that is the problem of our one. Many people, men, women, the enemy has finished with them. Say, don't go more than this. No, but true problem is the problem of empty life. What do, what do I call it? No marriage, no child, no money. You are just like that. <laughs> Which kind of life is that? No wife, no husband, no job. Empty life. Empty life, just like that. And time is going. And the enemy who planted this thing is happy that you don't know. Or you are going to a church where they are telling you, nobody is your enemy. Shall ye? Not say ye. Shall woo? Say woo. Say bay. Say bay. Okay. They are looking at you. They are looking at you. It's okay. You say we don't exist. It's all right. Congratulations. The problem of empty life. Let me tell you, this problem are dying this morning. Not tomorrow. 
Can you shout this prayer? Power of empty life. Can you stand up? Don't allow anybody to sit. Power of empty life. Name we pray. Can you sit down, ladies and gentlemen? Number three problem, which must not be allowed to pass that gate, is the problem of lifetime bondage. What do I call it? Uh -huh. God, I don't want to smoke again. You are going back to smoke. I don't know. I don't know what is happening to me. You repent again and again, but you are doing the same thing. God, I want to keep myself holy, but you go back to the woman again. You go back to that man again. When you finish, you come back. Oh, Jesus, I have a slide, but I come to you. After two weeks, you are going back. A power greater than your mind that have subdued you. Lifetime bondage. There's a power controlling you. There are people who cannot do without cigarette, who cannot do without smoking. Who cannot there, there is a woman. There is a woman that was in our church here. She liked another woman. As in what attracts her is woman. So if she see fine girl. She will be kissing the girl. She see fine girl. Ah, see, see breast. Ah, see body. Mm, mm. You thought that is play, but it's not play. That is pure romance. The day I was interviewing her, what happened was that they arrested her to police. And uh, after they free her, she came. She was crying. I said, "What happened?" He said, "She raped somebody." I said, "No, I don't understand." You rape somebody or somebody rape you. Say she raped somebody. Ah. How can you rape somebody? She now began to explain the thing to me. That's bondage. What is that thing that you cannot run away from? Jesus is here today to free you. She raped another woman. I said, how did it happen? Say the woman was changing in her presence. Just as I am here now, man will look at me and say he loves me. God forbid. God forbid. Say, look at your nose. Come, come and kiss me. Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire. She don't feel a man. That's bondage. But I thank God she was delivered and she now begin to feel man. Lifetime bondage. What is that thing that is troubling you? Are you a man and you have a weak erection? Your wife is complaining. Today is your freedom day. Yeah. What are you struggling with? You just have to take the drugs to survive. That's not the plan of God for you. Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. And you must be set free this morning. Number four problems that we will kill is the problem of helpers attack. What do I call it? Can you talk to me, congregation? Mm -hmm. It's another problem that normally frustrates people. They are not fighting you. But they are fighting anybody that wants to help you. Anybody that wants to help you. Anybody that wants to help you. Once anybody wants to help you, they start their attack. 
once somebody wants to help you, the person will start having problem. Sometimes they use your face to attack that person in the dream. And he will not tell you. But when he wake up, he start avoiding you. The dream I have about this lady, the dream I have about this young man, I don't like it. The wife will say, be careful, be careful, be careful. And the next day, they will start turning you. Come on Friday. Come next week. It's a problem. It can frustrate a person's life. Help us attack. A sister, all the brothers and sisters in abroad, after much prayer and fasting in their church, then somebody now say, they now wrote a letter to her that she should come. Come over there, find a job for her. So she came to testify, not in our church here. She now said, brothers and sisters, my family in London said, when she come and join there, they find a job. Look at the jubilation. But please, I have no, I have no money for the ticket. Just to pay for the flight ticket. The one man at the phone stood up. I said, we pay for the ticket for you. And they were happy. They got home. The man closed eyes to sleep. According to the man's testimony, he saw some creatures coming out from the ground. Some were with shovel. Some were with broken bottle. Some were with stick. And they were coming towards him like this. Coming towards him like this. Ah, He was withdrawing back. They keep coming towards him. Coming towards him. Some way with sticks, some with hammer. And then when they walk closer to him, one of them has said, If you dare buy that ticket for Ikechi to travel to London, we shall deal with you. But for we to let that, for we to let you know that we are not playing with you. One of them, one of the creatures take a stick, bow on his head, and he screams, Jesus, and wake up. His head has broken. The evening of that day was a Bible study. Just for Ikechi to go and meet him and say, Sir, thank you for your promise. Yes, just no, 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 no. Go, go. Those kind of powers are fighting your helpers. There's somebody you can meet and your life will change. If the enemy stop that person from meeting you, you will remain in one level. That is why I want to pray. Your amen will be seven times. The power fighting your helper shall die and be buried this morning. Yes, said well. Aha. Yes. Oh, yes. Keep saying My second. Say Jesus power. I say Jesus power. Jesus power. Number five problem that must die is the problem of head failure. Head failure. You are not well. Six is the problem of witchcraft special attack. I don't have time to explain that one to you. Witchcraft special attack. Somebody sleep, wake up. A growth is now coming in his body. He cannot use his penis again. He can't urinate. The enemy we now do it in a way that we drill somewhere to be taking the urine. How long will you carry that thing? It's a witchcraft special attack. You sleep and wake up now, you're not seeing. All you're seeing, but you say, I'm not seeing far. It's a special attack. This morning, every gun that they used to test you shall backfire seven times. <laughs> Open the keyboard, let your aim be loud three times. Yes. Number six problem, number seven problem. That must die. Is the problem of confusion and manipulation. <laughs> I don't have enough time to explain this thing to you because they are very big. Confusion and manipulation. You've married three times, two times. People will come, propose marriage, jump on your waist, jump down. Jump on your breast, jump down. Then they will drop you. Confusion and manipulation. You will start this business, it will fail. You will start that one again, it will, it will fall. Now you do nothing, but you are trying to gather to rent another shop. 
manipulation and confusion. Always meeting of all one eyes. Always in the wrong church. Church where they don't preach anything, but everybody is dancing with laptop. Oh, 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 oh radical for Jesus. Oh, 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 oh radical. Just, just radical every day. And the powers waging war against your destinies are making mockery of you. Mm. The arrow of confusion and manipulation. Some people will invite battalion to their house that they want to help people. Everybody they see, they will bring it to their house to be staying with them. <laughs> they are manipulating your brain. You should know that any one person is one spirit living with you. Each person living with you is seven demons troubled you brought. So if you have two strange people, you have brought, I'm not saying you should not help people, but let God direct you. Seven people you brought, three people you brought, eating your house, eating from you. Well, you are a nice woman, uh, that mommy, now good person, no. But you should know that 21 spirits are waging war against you. But they are all manipulation. Manipulation. It is the problem of time wasters. They will keep you there wasting your time. Sometimes you are doing a wrong job. A wrong job. You are not getting much. But you have been there for years. One day they will either sack you. Or something will happen the company food. It's a problem if you don't know. Time wasters. Some people spend the whole of their life walking and walking and nothing was offered to them. All the people they met in the company has been promoted, managers, but they remain at the same spot where they entered. The problem of time wasters. I'm going to pray against it. Time wasters. Just like that lady, that young man, that man that married, married and travel abroad. Those were the days there were no phone. The woman waited for him here in Nigeria for 15 years. And one day wrote a letter that he is coming back. The lady was happy. She cooked. She with her friends. They went to the airport to welcome him. Only for this man to come down with black American lady and four children. It was in the airport he was telling her, well, uh, sister, uh, yeah, sister, um, sister Grace, you just have to continue with your life. Um, I, I don't think the relationship will work. You know, that's how they talk. Those people, they are very stupid. <laughs> they just say things that are serious, very common, in a common way. Yeah, I, I, I don't think that, uh, it, yeah, yeah it, it's, it's going to work. Uh, you just have to move on with your life. After 15 years, the lady collapsed. What was that power that made her to choose that man? Confusion and manipulation. Arrow number nine. The arrows are actually 207, but let me end here. Arrow number nine is the problem of destiny <laughs> failure dream the problem of destiny failure dreams when you always having dreams that you are naked in the dreams it's a serious problem oh. don't joke with it oh. all the dream of you are not living in the village but whenever you close your eyes you are seeing yourself in the village it's a dream of backwardness. That, that's why they are called destiny failure dreams. All the dreams of when you're in the dream, police are looking for you, soldiers want to arrest you, you are running away, or you are flying and they are pursuing you. They are a dream of destiny failure. All the dream of traveling, and you are traveling, but you are not getting to where you are going before you wake up. Every time you are always traveling. They are dream of destiny failure. The God is only pointing a light that see you need to fight. Oh, the enemy have tempered something in you. 
every hand that is upon your head shall die with your amen. Yeah. All the dream of seeing yourself in the school, primary school, secondary school, or in the university, physically you have graduated. But you are still seeing yourself going back to school. All that your mother that have died, they are burying her again. <laughs> That dream of destiny failure. Your mother or your father that died long ago. He, you are still dreaming that she he died again. And they are doing his or her burial. All that is not even dead. It's not dead, but another person died, and she that have died is in the burial. All the dream of talking to your late brothers, talking to your late sisters, still seeing your father talking to you. All the dream of your former wife is still coming around. That dream that are trying to terminate your destiny. And that's how God brought you to dynamic. That's why here it's called dynamic flame of fire. You are not here to play with people. If we are looking for a club, I know what I will say. I will just come here one Sunday and say, All the girls in the choir, change, showcase for Jesus today. Come and see figure eight. You will be surprised. You know, our skirt has covered many things. Come and see figures. The mommy water spirit will not move in. Stronghold will not move in. Mali witchcraft will not come in. <laughs> and any moment for there's no more church. It's a entertainment ground. Then I will start having a lot of money, private jet. I'll start flying left and right. You begin to see me on Facebook with pictures like they know not, neither will they understand. They die like ordinary men. People that are consigned of spiritual things. Don't mind how they look. Till I came to this place, I've been in prayers. In one spot for hours. In one spot. From 2 o'clock till when I walk in here, I've been in one spot. Spiritual people are not concerned about how they look. You know, as I come here with a very powerful fine suit. Ha, yeah, church, shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah. Uh, yeah, the, this shoe my leg was made in Japan. And the uh, animal skin, they were bought for $1,200. <laughs> God forbid. I'm not in that level. I'm not in that level. Every dream of living in an empty house, being arrested by the police, being detained in the police stations, they are dreams of destiny failure. Every dream of writing examinations, they are not good dream. Today, the special blood of Jesus shall kill the powers of these dreams. Your amen is not loud enough. is the way out. Number one, give your life to Jesus. We don't negotiate that one. Let Jesus be your friend. If you are a friend to prophet and prophetess, my dear, your case is finished. Because no prophet, no prophetess have any power to help you. I don't have any power to save you. If you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord, I advise you, you accept him now. If the spirit of running from one church to the other is still possessing you, oh, you are on your way to hellfire. Just come back to Jesus now. 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 If you have placed any man in your heart to be higher than Jesus Christ, uh, you have failed. I don't want to deceive you. Let Jesus be the only person that is all and all. Don't give me, Prophet Miracle, any room in your heart. But give Jesus the whole room. Trust him more than men. I can fail you, but Jesus cannot fail you. I can be weak, but Jesus cannot be weak. I can die, but Jesus cannot die. He said, I'm he that was dead and I'm alive. And I have in my hand the key of hell and death. So if you are here and you have not become a real child of God, you are still running after one Mama A, Mama C, Mama K, Mama B, Mama D, Mama L then you're on your way to hellfire. 
Because the Bible says that with man nothing is possible. But with God, all things. So why don't you give your heart to him that can save you? Why are you running after men? Let Jesus come into your heart today. All those of you who have been running from places, I'm looking for miracle. Where they will tell me who wants to kill me. If they tell you who wants to kill you, do they have the power to kill the person? Can they save you from the hand of that person? Return to Jesus. There's the message. On Christ the solid rock and star all world and crown he sings all world and crown he sings my hope is pure in a man, a mortal, a woman who professed to be Jesus, you have disappointed God. If your heart is not fixed in Jesus, if your heart has been fixed on me, I'm praying for your forgiveness. Return that heart to Jesus because I have nothing to offer you. Only Jesus can save you. Only Jesus can deliver you. Wadi wadi is a love. Wadi wadi is a love. Wadi wadi is a love. Wadi can save you. Woe to them that trust in men. Woe to them that trust in prophets. Woe to them that put their trust in prophetess. Woe to them that believe in apostles and bishops. Oh. Let Jesus take that place now. And then, you're on your way to defeating all these enemies. They will bow and they will die. Because Jesus said, I am the rock of ages. Anybody that uses leg on me, the leg will break. But if I roll on anybody, he will be granted to Pida. So he starts with that. Two, repent from every known and unknown sin. Anything that does not please God, drop it. Number three, the voice of aggressive prayers. It's a special weapon to eliminating the enemies and their problems. The voice of aggressive prayers. Not the way you are praying since. The kind of prayer that defeats enemies and keeps problems. Uh, there are prayers that you pray your hand. Every part of you must pray. Because only the violent take it by force. Don't say, I have prayed. No. No. 
I'll be praying. No. Just do more. You are approaching something. A lot of things has happened to me, but I refuse to give up. If I give up, this church will be filling up and filling everywhere. No. I just continue to move on by the grace of God. Number two, spiritual persistence. You refuse to give up on yourself. It's also another weapon to disgrace the enemies and to kill their problems. Don't give up. Last year is not this year. Just continue. Just continue. Don't stop. Three. Tongues beyond the upper room. When you live here, that is number what now? Six, have we? Five. You pray in tongues. Le cobra li kare larana sasi sereke. I can speak in tongues for ten hours without stopping. Ten hours. And when I come out, I'm not a human being again. I'm a spirit. Six. Spectra. That is what we call sacrificial giving. You give what is painful. It can kill a problem. And it can win an enemy. Five. Fearlessness and faith. You must believe. This sickness will not kill me. It will die. You must not fear. Whatever doctor told you. It cannot be so. Come on tell your neighbor. It cannot, it cannot be so. You know some people will come. They will be telling me some things. Oh, they said that this will give me. Some. I say shut up. Because of that boy that graduated from Uniport, that wear glass and tetoscope. Is that why you're afraid? Those things he tell you, leave that thing. And at the end, the thing will leave their body. They will be surprised. Ah, ah. So I'm delivered. They say, yes, you are delivered. Can you raise your hand? Let me pray for you. Tonight, every agenda of your enemy shall be put to shame. Slap your neighbor and say, May the fire of God enter you. Slap that person where, May the fire of the God of Elijah enter you. Do it well. You are acting on my instruction. May the fire of God enter you. 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 I will make you to be too hot for the enemy to handle. May that fire enter you. Fire. Enter. 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 Fire. Enter. Enter. Amen. They will call your name on any shrine. What will respond is smoke. Boom! The pot has scattered. <laughs> hey. One day I was sleeping some years ago. I was living at the back of BDGS in Ovum, Yenagwa. Do you know that place? Okay. That was where I was living. It's a small pastor. And one lady came, my window was open, and everybody lived in one room. That is where the coven of Baesa State is built. And the lady came, I was doing some witchcraft with me. I was doing some conjure. And I was sleeping. According to what she told people, that somebody stood up in the face of Jesus and slapped her. That was how she became mad. That madness lasted for one year and three months. When her eyes clear, anytime she sees me, she will be running. May the fire of God that will make you to be too hot for them enter your body. Amen. Amen. Are you ready to pray now? Are you sure you are ready to pray? Are you sure you are ready to pray? Three things you must do now. One, one, it is better. Not to pray than to under pray. It's better because the kind of prayer I want to lead you now, they are different from the one you have been praying since. So it's better that you don't pray at all than you just 
make full of the whole things. Uh, Father, I say God. Jesus, I I say Holy Spirit, I can Don't do that. The devil will wound you. He that take a sheet and look back is not fit for the kingdom of God. When you stand up now, stand up with the true heart that whatever that is going wrong in your life will be it will drop down dead. I'm not hearing you say amen. amen. Lift up your two hands. Hallelujah. Lift up your two hands and sing that song. Jesus has overcome Satan. The battle has been won on the cross of Calvary for you. everybody you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and your Savior you are still going to one church where one woman is ringing a bell on your head where they ask you to dress the way you like listen to me you have to surrender your life to Jesus why the choir back that song hallelujah because Jesus has defeated hallelujah. by confessing these words say Lord Jesus Come into my heart. I believe you are the Son of God. You died for me on the cross of Calvary. Write my name in the book of life. I believe that you died and you resurrected. I give you my heart. I give you my soul. I give you my spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I give you my love. Lift up your hand and sing it. I give you my soul. I live for you. I'll live for you. Hello. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to your holy name. Glory, lift up your hand. Glory be to his holy name. Glory and honor be to his holy name. Glory be to his holy name. Glory. Glory. Glory to the
name. I'm worthy to be paid. Lift up your hand and wave you are alive. Jesus. Lord, we give you all the glory. Man can never be you and you will never be a man. We are mortals. We are subjects of our feeling, but you are an eternal God. Forgive us of our shortcoming and don't deny us of eternal life. Write our name in the book of life because I want to live in eternal life. Save my soul. Eternal, 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 eternal love. I want to be eternal. Love, my soul. I want to be eternal. Tell him thank you Jesus You defeated the enemy for me Thank you Jesus Glory be to your holy name Thank you Jesus Eternal life is your portion Amen We are going into the warfare And no one Should sit Around you I beg you not to pray than not for you to pray when. It's better that you just keep just keep calm. Keep calm. If you are not going to pray this prayer with aggression. The first problem that was mentioned to you, which the prayer point is also here. We have to fight it now. Nine prayers point. Number one is this. Don't say I prayed it before. This one is for the message. So as you finish praying it, consider that problem as over. <laughs> are you ready? Are you ready? 
shout this with anger. Nobody's voice must be louder than your voice. This prayer may not allow you to pray for a long time. That's why you must enter with fire. And when you are shouting it, remember thou shalt decree a thing. And not you shall be established. The power of evil limitations. Your voice is not loud enough. <laughs> oh God. Father, please help these people. This is not how to say it. Though. Can I hear only the men's voice? Okay, let me not hear the women on. Let the keyboard, the drum, and everything follow. Uh -huh. Let the women shout it loud and clear. Now let the men's voice be louder than the women's voice. Everybody with a loud voice. In my ministry, God, 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 Open your mouth. Oh, yes. For somebody here. I have a word for somebody here. There was an evil pot that was buried in your father's house. But why the prayer? The agenda of this pot is, is that four of you will not succeed in life. And three out of the nine people that buried the pot have died. The Lord said, I should tell you that the agenda of the pot has been scattered to pieces. <laughs> Let the keyboard and the drum please don't fail. Aha. Basika le kare masa. Open the keyboard. Balikare sarimaka. There is someone that is here. You and your entire family, including your siblings, were inside the bottle. But the old woman who held the bottle and kept it under her armpit that no one will escape the hand. She just died and the bottle is broken. <laughs> Shout the second prayer with annoyance. It's better not to pray if you are not going to pray very well. Power of empty life of my father's house. Can you shout the prayer loud and clear? Uh -huh. Your voice is not loud enough. Shout it with a louder voice. Da 
to me. Da, da. I cannot be healthy. Do it well, do it well. Pastor, open your mouth. Pray it out, pray yourself out. Oh, yes. In Jesus' name, we pray. Very good. I have a word for somebody here. The Lord said, In the next seven days and two hours from now, your news shall make your enemy to hang themselves. Someone is here in the yard you are living. You are the least person in that yard. And everybody, they are looking down on you. But God said, You said that the kind of breakthrough you will get after this program, it will make everybody to respect you again. You will not shout this with a loud voice. The power of bondage of my mother's family. voice should be louder than your voice. The Lord say, you cannot pray this prayer for yourself. So face someone that means business. Don't hold your little boy and both of you begin to pray there. And the angel say, ah, what is the meaning of this? Face somebody. Face somebody. Who is serious? You will clap your hand and that person will clap. Your hand must be loud on his face and his own too must be louder. The bottom truth is this. If you are the one praying and he's staring at you, then you have made the wrong choice. If you are the one that your voice is heard, but the person you hold is not uh, serious, just staring at you and say, what is this man saying? Then you have missed this bullet. When should I have missed it? This is the second problem that should I Say this, powers fighting your helpers. You should be serious because I want you to testify. Can you shout the prayer loud and clear? Your time is over. Can you shout it together? Uh -huh. Do 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 Jesus 
just name will pray. Very good. Very good. I have a word for somebody here. Yeah. You have people that should help you. But you are not even picking your calls. The Lord said that they will bombard you with money this week. <laughs> this one be calling you begging, sending account. Yeah. They will transfer. This one again will call. Please, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They have five million. I promised you three years ago. I will give it now. Now, now. And I told you that I will open a shop for you and your husband. Send me account. Send me account because your helper has been delivered. <laughs> the second prayer also, you cannot pray it for yourself. It is called the problem of head failure. Can you face someone who is really serious? If the person you hold before was not too or that serious, it's not anything a problem. Oh, because you actually need prayers. The Bible says pray for one another. That ye may be healed. There is extend your prayer can go. But the prayer from another person can go far. Out. That is why you must not joke. Shout this with anger. This is a prayer for your head. Bullet of death. In your body. Can you shout the prayer loud and clear? Your voice is not loud enough. Only the women of all. Uh -huh. Let the men roar like thunder. Everybody with one God. Yes. Backfire. Fire back. Bullet. Fire back. Bullet of stroke, bullet of glaucoma, bullet of kidney failure, or a backfire. Every bullet of death, every bullet of blindness, fire into my body, or a jump out, backfire. Bullet of stroke, bullet of death, bullet of cancer, or a backfire. Send the bullet back. Jesus name we pray. Uh -huh. This one you have the permission of God to choose another person. You need a fresh command. <laughs> hey. No, but this is the problem of witchcraft special attack. By the time the day break, you will find out that things has indeed changed for you. Because prayer is the key. Prayer can change anything. Are you ready? Men ought always to pray and not to faint. So, right now get ready for Jesus Christ because Jesus wants to help you. Are you ready? Uh -huh. Shout this. This prayer will be prayed three times. As you start now, is one. When I say, in Jesus' name we pray, you will say, Amen, thunder! Amen, thunder! Amen, thunder! Then you continue. Before we finally stop you. Are you ready? Amen, thunder! Amen, thunder! Amen is a signature. When you done release thunder, it's after you sign, you send another one again. That is a thunder. Let me tell you, this morning, some of you, five strong Goliath, they will call you that they are dead. <laughs> Get ready, and let me announce to you, GO Special Instrumentalist is ongoing. Anything you can play here, you will come out. I believe some people can play some things here, and we want to bring them into the choir. We have drummers here, 
we have some keyboardists here in your former church even if you can do it a little we want to train you now there are people coming from Wari that will train you we don't just want them to work for the church we want them to train people so you make yourself up anything you can play if you can play it very well fine if you cannot play it very well fine you see okay by us face that person shout this with a loud voice aha so I'll be calling for people that play special instruments. Whatever you play, whether drum, whatever thing, whether whistle you blow, I'm going to call you out for the purpose. Jesus, that woman that is a growth by the side of your private part, I command the growth to vanish and go back to the enemies. Somebody has come here, there's a movement, a mobile pain in your body. Bakate Larikasa. The agenda of those gunpowder fired in your body in the dream that are now moving. There is hotness, a bony sensation in your body. I fire them back to the sender. <laughs> Shout this upon that person. This is deliverance. Read deliverance you are doing for that person. Witchcraft special attack. <laughs> Can you shout it loud and clear? A sign against you and your family. Can you shout it loud and clear? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Something has happened. No? Let us, because of time, go straight to number nine. But on Sunday, there will be a bulletin on the a bulletin that will contain all the prayer points to dissolve this major problem planted by the enemy. Shout this with anger. Are you ready? You will pray this one for yourself. After they will pray terry, terry breakthrough prayer. Don't let anybody's voice be louder than your voice. Coffin dreams. For example, how many of you used to dream that they are naked in the dream? Raise your hand up. Raise your hand. Okay, drop your hand. How many of you make love in the dream? Raise your hand. When you raise your hand, angel, we know you are there. So they attend to the case. Drop your hand. 
How many of you used to see police or soldier in the dream? Mm -hmm. Could you see just witchcraft? Drop your hand. How many of you see snake in the dream? Mm -hmm. Drop your hand. Share this with anger. Govern dreams. <laughs> Better still, regulate it in a proper manner. The power of covert dreams. <laughs> All those dreams of traveling and wandering about in the bush, and all those dreams of seeing yourself in the village and in the barrier. Oh, your mother who died, they are now burying her again. They are dream of Kovun. They are Kovun that is calling those dreams just to shut you down. Can you shout the prayer loud and clear? <laughs> Thou power of Kovun dreams. <laughs> Over my life, from my head to my leg. Can you shout the prayer loud and clear? Shout it with annoyance, my friend. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Shout it one more time with a very thunder voice. Go for dreams. your hand up. Uh -huh. My destiny help us. My name is Senior Prophet Miracle. Don't mention my name or you are not Prophet Miracle. Can you shout the prayer loud and clear? Your voice is not loud enough. But you must pray it well, though. You must pray it well. Mr. Money. Money. I take control over you. Control. When you take control over money, eh? whenever you have need of it, someone somehow will bring the money for you. Yeah. That is from today henceforth, you are not going to lack any money. Somebody. I 
take your power from you. Can you shout it loud and clear? Your voice is not loud enough. Shout it with a louder voice. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Take the power. mercy. Mr. Money, I take your power from you. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says money is the God of this world. When you collect his power, it flows to your heart. And today, money is a beggar where you are. Money is not paper. Money is the spirit behind the paper. Jesus said you cannot serve God and serve money. Money was what he was calling mammon. No man can serve two masters. So if money, you convert money to your servant, then he has no choice but to obey you. That's the prayer you pray. <laughs> money is my servant. Amen. Until money becomes your servant, you will never have him. If it's your master, can you control your master? Uh -huh. That's the prayer. You just break the backbone of money. That is why somebody will sow a hundred million naira to your life. <laughs> Say, I am favor from today henceforth. There are many of you, when you go to where they are blessing people, they don't bless you. You don't receive job. They will employ your friend. Whereas you are the one that tell him about the place. That has ended today. <laughs> Anything that money can come from. Your name will be practically announced. <laughs> this is the third breakthrough prayer. Lift up your hand. Don't let anybody's voice be louder than your voice. Thou reign of unexpected breakthroughs. Fall. Put emphasis on the word fall. Say it emphatically. Fall. Thou reign of unexpected breakthroughs. They brought a lady to my house because I know them. They are from Baeza State. She run mad. So she came. The son was the person who brought her with son, with her sisters. I said, uh -uh. I saw your mother last week. 
where this madness come from? He said, Daddy, in brother, give him 20 million naira. So I see they happy. They're happy, 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 happy. He started removing her clothes. That is just how the madness started. Not madness as attack. The brain has not seen. You can imagine somebody who, have, who don't have 2,000 naira. Then somebody now bring a carton into 10. He says, it's for you. Each carton is 2 million. He says, it's for you. Sister, it's for you. It's for you. You know that your brain will turn. You don't know. So that is how she was removing her things. I said, when did it happen? I said, this morning. I said, okay, leave her. When the brain calmed down, she got herself. After a while, she started sleeping. She now wake up. Did you people say 20 million? This was a woman that was roasting corn on the road. 20 million of her night. Your own is going to happen before Sunday. Name, we pray.